Lee May, I watered her miniature garden while she was away on that photography course? Yeah? Well, I forgot. Hmm. And now her plants are all withered and brown. Psst. She's gonna have my hide for sure! Hmm. Hmm? Mm mm. Maybe not. One last wire flower. I'm just sure Lee May will just love it. What in the world is this? Well, uh, a magnificent decorative garden, of course. If you say so. We've got a very special request. We need to find a way to fix this old picture frame for Robinson. It's important. Now that's what I call old. Who are these kids anyway? That looks like Robinson when he was just a boy. Hey, you're right. He must have been about our age. And the one next to him looks like Miss Twist. And this one must be... Peace and love, crafty friends. My, my plants! Sorry, Lee. I forgot to water your mini garden, but Claire came up with this great idea. We replaced your plants with flowers made huh? of wire. Yeah. That way, no need to water them. Oh, I think she kind of likes it. Lee, are you okay? Say something. Anti-nature. Metal flowers are so totally anti-nature. It was just an idea, so you wouldn't be disappointed. That's nice of you and all, but it's still totally anti-nature. Relax mm -hmm. and breathe through your toes, guys. These aren't flowers. They're, uh, photo stands. There. Photo stands? Crafts in action! That is so chow he. We can even organize a little Crafty Kids exhibition. With all the pictures I took during the workshop. Photos of flowers? Isn't that anti-nature? Well, uh, of course real flowers are nicer, but Ben forgot to water. Or we could use some old photos, like the one of Robinson here. Why, of course! We could even find everyone who was in the photo back then and take a picture of them now. Just imagine, the Crafty Kids present photos then and now. It'll be huge! So we're all on board for the Crafty Kid Photo Show. Let's start with Robinson. Bonsai! Okay, now smile. Now frown. Happy, that's it. Now depressed. Good, now happy depressed. That's it. Now give me a smiley sad face. Okay, that's a wrap. Hmm. Ah. Now, what are these pictures for, young mysterious souls? We're gonna organize a Crafty Kid photo show based on your old snapshot here. We're gonna take pictures today of all the people who were in it way back then. By the way, do you remember who the other kids are? Those were my friends in the movie club. The movie club? We were just a gang of innocent young kids, all crazy about movies and movie stars. And to share our enthusiasm and talk about our favorite movies, we created a club, the movie club. There was me, Miss Twist, John, and, uh, and... Uh, and who? And who? It's really water under the bridge now. An old story, young Ben. Uh, uh, but in the picture, who is that? Mr. Groucho. Huh? Uh. Oh, 
Okay, guys, we all know how our dear neighbor Mr. Groucho is, so if we're gonna take this picture, we gotta play it really smooth. I get it. Calling Mr. Groucho. Quiet! Mr. Groucho, you, uh... Good thing you were there. We were wondering if we could just take your picture. If it's all right with you, of course. Never! Wait a second. We're taking pictures of all the kids in the movie club. We've got one of Robinson and... No! I never want to hear about that again! Ever! Uh... Without a picture of Mr. Groucho, our whole exhibition thing is a bust. Or maybe not. Okay, now everybody understands what to do? Well, yeah. Why are we whispering again? Because if Mr. Groucho hears our secret plan, then it won't be a secret anymore. Okay, super secret. So all we have to do is get a shot of John. That's, That's it. it. Okay, before you go put me on the sidewalk. Get a load of the star. I almost outshined the chrome on that bumper. You sure are one classy dude. You could have been a real star. Yeah, if the movie club hadn't broken up. Ah, the movie club. You know, we used to set up our little movie theater right here in this garage. As soon as I could, I bought the place before they could tear it down. And then... And then? And then? I opened my garage. But how did it all end? The movie club, I mean. It was all because of a little fight between Robinson and Groucho. But I was just a kid back then. Miss Twist can probably tell you more. Huh? I just don't get it. Every shot is blurred. You must have moved. No, that can't be. I was very careful. Whatever. They're still blurry. Maybe I can do better. If you think you can do better, then be my guest. There's no harm in trying. Hmm. Well, we're gonna get some shots of Miss Twist. Oh, yeah. What a great idea. Let's go, Benny. <laughs> Posing for the camera reminds me of the old days in the movie club. John told us it all ended because of an argument between Robinson and Mr. Groucho. Is that true? Yes. We decided to make our dream movie a western. Robinson was the director, John did the makeup, and I was in charge of lighting. Groucho lent us his camera because he was the only kid who had one. But in exchange, he wanted the leading role and Robinson didn't agree. And... And? We let him have his way. Unfortunately. Can you see Groucho yet? Lee, can you see him? Shh! Stop distracting me! Aha! There he is! I got him! I got him! So, can we see the western you guys made? Sadly, no. How come? Hmm. Groucho, our lead, was out of focus in all the shots. Blurry, huh? Why am I not so surprised? Groucho was furious and accused Robinson of doing it on purpose. And Robinson was mad at Groucho for ruining his movie. Groucho took his camera and the reel of film and never came back. And that was the end of the movie club. Well, that can never happen to the Crafty Kids Club! So you see, it wasn't my fault. I don't get it. Maybe you did something to my camera. Uh, why me? Because it was working just fine until you touched it. Hold it right there. You're not gonna go full Groucho and Robinson on us. Do, Do what? what? Who? When they were kids like us, they wanted to make a movie together. And every shot with Groucho came out blurry. He said it was all Robinson's fault. And Robinson said it was all Groucho's fault. And that was the end of the movie club. It would really be a shame if something like that happened to the Crafty Kids Club, don't you think? You know, if Groucho was blurry in every shot back then, and he's blurry in every shot now, that makes perfect sense. You know, you're right. That means the Then and Now photo show can go on. Then and now, what is past is past. But can you get past the present now and then? That is the question. 
Uh... Why, yes, uh, but then again, maybe not. All homemade! Turnip juice and chicken liver sponge cake. Hmm, too bad Groucho isn't here to enjoy this. Huh? Hmm? Hmm. What if that's him? Hmm, huh? I'll go see. Watch out! I bet it's the Western the Movie Club made. Sorry, I was such a grouch. Signed, Mr. Groucho. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> mm, I found my old projector. We can watch your movie now. Sounds great! Hey, Crafty Kids! Would you like to display pictures of your best friends, your mom and dad, or your favorite ladybugs in your room? No problem. The Crafty Kids are going to show you how to make a pretty photo display with your own photo stones. First, you need some flat stones, some steel wire, some paint, a paintbrush, some wire cutters or some scissors, and photos. Step one, collect some pretty stones outside. Choose flat ones that are more stable and paint them and let them dry. Step two, decorate your stones with little geometric designs or hearts. Or stars if you're really into outer space like me. Let them dry. Step three, Twist the wire around each stone and make a knot on top. Like a ribbon on a birthday gift. Chow hee! Step four. Halfway up, make a loop for the leaf. Finish the stem by making a spiral and then cut the wire. Be careful not to cut yourself. Step five. Now all you have to do is slide your favorite photos into the spiral on top. Now your photo holders are ready. You can put them in your room or on your nightstand. Or on the fireplace in the living room. Haley Mae, let me take your picture. Say cheese. Cheese.